Sport Fishing on the Fly is brought to you by Togan's Fly Shop, Maui Jim Sunglasses, and Hardy Rods and Reels. Good day everyone and welcome to On the Bench. Again, we have another new fly pattern for you here. This is my favorite midge. I call this my ultimate midge. It's a pattern that uh, if I had to pick one, this is it. I'm going to show you how to tie the fly today. We're going to uh, go over the materials. First of all, I'm going to be using uh, some Semperfly 6 aught black th flat thread. I'm going to be using a hook. We'll be using today, this is a size 10 pupa hook. Curved uh, pupa or 1x short. You can, this is in 10, go to 12s, 14s if you want. 10s and 12s all I fish with this. I'm going to be using uh, some red uh, extra fine wire. We'll be using uh, some 10 thou lead. I'm also on the front I'm going to be using a glow-in-the-dark glass bead. I got these from uh, Rod over at Kencraft in Vernon, B.C. many years ago. It's some large ones and these little tiny ones I use for chronomids work great. I'm using some gray super stretch floss and also some black holographic flashaboo for the body and then I'm going to coat it with Solares bone dry. The thorax will be using some Peacock ice tub. So, got some good ingredients. Durable. So there's so many good chronomid patterns out there. You, I see so many on the internet. You guys are sharing, and and they're they're good. Not to discount anybody's flies. They're all they're all good. I'm, I know they are. Okay, we're gonna get our put eight turns of that lead behind the glass bead. <coughs> I always prepare all my hooks with beads and and uh, lead before I start tying. I just do it kind of step tied that saves me doing uh, every step for every fly. I can get it done quicker that way or more consistent. I do. So I'm going to tie the red wire and the super stretch floss here behind the lead. That'll kind of keep the body slimmed up. Then we'll come in with our underbody which is going to be the flashaboo. And we have all these new materials coming available to us. A new stuff coming out all the time. I know Semperfly has been sending me some pretty cool stuff. We'll be seeing more of their materials in a minute. Now I've got my flashaboo and I want this wire to come back later. That's, we're going to do this in steps. Let's take a half turn here. I'm going to use my rotary vise. You guys can hand over hand this. I just want to make sure I cover up my whole uh, fly with its underbody of the, uh, the flashaboo. And there we go. And then why I like the super stretch floss here. I'm just going to do another half hitch, get my line out here. I'm going to, uh, I like the super floss because it it builds me a nice segmented body. It lays about the right contour of the chronomid and it and I still can poke through. I see my my black holographic coming through there and then I'll just follow those ribs up with my accent, my rib with red wire. And if you want to use silver on here, that's good too. Even copper. But it's a nice color combination there. You got, you're, you're kind of blend. You don't have a lot of that holographic taken over the pattern. Still pretty subtle. I'll just put another half hitch in there. Get a little coat of my bone dry. Uh, so there is. 
That'll just toughen that right up. Makes it a little bit shinier too, but uh, that'll toughen that right up and uh, we'll get her a little light. You see that bead light up that's glow in the dark and you're fishing these down deep, that will retain. That's like a little light bulb down there. And if you've never fished glow in the dark uh, products, you might want to think about it. I know a lot of years ago we had walleye pros out of our shop that were pro staffed out of our shop and the uh, used glow in the dark, these Gens worms and stuff like that that were uh, and they were super, super effective. So, it works for walleye, why not anything else? And it does. I just put a little thorax on there with my peacock ice tub. I'll just throw a little uh, head cement on there. And uh, there you go. Call my ultimate midge. It's a great pattern. It's not super black. It's got enough that gray to kind of give that undertone, it's got the great segmentation, it's got the little bit of red, very subtle red ribbing on there. Uh, the, even the ice stub, you got little eggs coming off, whatever, that's quite noticeable in the water too. I wouldn't trim that, I'd, I'd fish that right like that and that's a great, great fly for you. So, it, it's, I fish it unweighted of course, you're going to be using your, your swivels or whatever, the weight basically get your fly down the zone anyway, that little bit of Lead will, will also help get the fly, but this will get down and get some business done for you. So, all you chronomid fishermen, and I know that's the most stable food form that we have in, in still waters, is in uh, great following just a mid fish, midge or chronomid fisherman. So, that's my favorite anyway, Brent's Ultimate Midge. And uh, hope you tie some of these up. And if you're unable to tie some of these up yourself, you want to buy them, I'll send Don a bunch for the online store. So, if you have any other questions, uh, you can always send an email out to ask Don at Sport Fishing on the Fly, and uh, we'll forward off any any comments or questions or anything you'd like to see on our shows. So, thanks again for watching, and we'll catch you again real soon.